The Department of Defense selected an Army researcher as its Laboratory Scientist of the Quarter. The DOD named Dr. Christopher Darling, a material scientist with the U.S. Army Research Laboratory, as the best in the DOD. In a very close race, Dr. Darling was selected based on his recent discovery, wrote Dr. Melissa Flagg, Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Research, in a memo November 10th. As a testament to the significance of Dr. Darling's contribution to his field, he recently published his findings in Nature, an interdisciplinary scientific journal that is widely regarded as one of the top two most prestigious academic journals, publishing original research across a wide range of scientific fields. Darling's discovery could lead to many new materials applications, including inside turbine engines, where temperatures can soar to more than 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. It has the potential to revolutionize a lot of potential uh, applications and, and um, that would affect both, you know, DOD and, and civilian society. Darling earned his doctorate from North Carolina State University in 2009 and immediately started working for the U.S. Army as a postdoctoral fellow at the Army Research Laboratory. He soon became a federal employee at the lab and began his work on nanomaterials research. I always wanted to serve the military and that's one of the reasons that I came. When I graduated with my uh, PhD I applied to all the government agencies. and you know, I wanted to work for a government because I have a long family history of uh, men serving in the military. Darling said he hopes people will look at his work and take it even farther. You know, there are, there are professors in universities and things that you look up to because they're so well known and they've, and they've established uh, some amazing findings in research and areas. And I just hope, I hope that maybe that I leave some sort of a spot that maybe people will, will look at the work that I've done and maybe take it farther. You know, that, that maybe in some way that I've contributed to something that will be a permanent sort of landmark. For ARL-TV, I'm David McNally.